No business can survive and strive without some form of branding and marketing. This is why we at 10X Branding and Marketing LLC out of New York and Global Capital Inc. We have decided to put together this unique masterpiece, this unique work of our title, 10X Branding and Marketing Blueprint, The Psychology of Doing Business. This book is really going to take you into a deep dive to really help you to understand the important tenets of branding and marketing that you should learn, apply, and master when you are so desirous of 10x in and leapfrogging your business ideas. Today, I continue to dig in deep into the book so as to shape your opinion of what is to come, what is coming, and what is we have already designed for you. And um, as we dig in deeper, I want to continue reading and uh, analyzing this book that is titled 10X Branded and Marketing Blueprint. However, for those who might be joining me for the first time, my name is Gary Thompson. I'm a business development consultant by profession. I'm a humanitarian by nature, and I'm the self-published best-selling author for several books, including Manager's Toolkits and Billionaire Codes. And the expert in marketing blueprint is a unique brand. And let me read a little bit from this book to share with you you're actually saying. The next branding and marketing, the psychology of business is designed to identify branding and marketing best practices that are used by some of the world's top 100 brands, like Dell of the United States of America, Gucci of Italy, and Nissan of Japan. This deep dive also looked deep into the world's top four, which is Microsoft, Google, Apple, and Amazon, among others, that can enable branding and marketing managers to stand out in the market as they build out their brand, their form, value proposition. So let's go at this again. We have studied the top 100 companies in the world. And in studying these companies, we have extracted those best practices that the branding and marketing managers can use in the build out of their value proposition, the brand intention value trip. And many of you who are following me you are quite familiar with what the value proposition should represent. It's not just about the specific target market. The other tenants of the value proposition, it's important to look at. And I'm not saying this because I want to say it, but I'm saying this largely based on the fact that the research that we have done with the top 100 companies, it clearly established unique innovative approaches that they are using to separate themselves from the competition. And our vision here at 10X Branding and Marketing LLC out of New York and Global Capital Inc. out of the Caribbean is to continue to present you with this kind of information that allows you to make the strongest business decision that truly enables your branding and marketing managers to do better than the best. Now, I continue reading. Dell ranked 100 on the top 100 income earners for 2020 and earned $18 billion. That's in 2020. Gucci ranked 98 and earned $18 billion also. Now, Gucci is a strong brand that is out there. It's a brand from um, Italy. 
And uh, it's one of those brand names that we will talk more about as we go deeper into the examination of this book and the examination of the master classes that we have designed from this book itself. Now, Nissan ranked 97 and earned 80 billion USD for the same period. Now, it must be noted that most of the top 100 companies annual earning is more than many developed and mid-income economies annual revenue. It's more than many developing and mid-income or economies annual revenue. And that's a statement by itself and later on we'll talk about that. But just let me briefly talk about this. For these top 100 companies to be generating this level of money, and the three top 100 companies that I've just talked about, they're at the lower end of the top 100. They're at the lowest of the lowest end of the top 100. But again, the research is showing that in spite of this, their income revenue, their annual income revenue, in many cases, is more than developing economies, more than what developing economies are generating. Later on, we will analyze that. So this in itself speaks about the resourcefulness and the innovation, the type of leadership that are behind these types of brands. And I really want you to capture this because while we are discussing branding and marketing, while we are discussing strategic and innovative approaches to leapfrog and 10x your business, it's important for you to really get that the only way this can be done is if you have the right mindset, the right way of thinking. You must have that growth mindset as against that fixed mindset. You must understand the tools that proactive leaders are, are using. They think ahead, they see beyond problems, they take informed action to achieve desired results. And in this book, we talk about all of this so as to ensure that your branding and marketing managers, they're getting the tools, they're getting the technical support to really enable them to refine the thought process that is necessary to help to leapfrog your operation. I will continue to read another paragraph. Branded and marketing blueprint is a blueprint for branded and marketing managers that expose them to international best practices and new and innovative approaches to design and position their brand to gain public confidence, trust, and credibility in a more cost effective manner. So this book, the learning content here, it is built out for branding and marketing managers. And it is built out in such a way to really help them to understand how to build public trust, confidence and credibility. And to do all of this in a more cost effective manner. Some of the important lessons you will learn in this book are as follows. One, you will learn how to design the 10X market research blueprint. blueprint. How to design the 10X market research blueprint. You will also learn how to design the 10X products and service innovation Along with this, you will learn how to design the 10X branding and marketing business communication. There's so much more that you will learn that is listed here for you to learn. But let me discuss the first one, how to design the 10X branding and marketing and research blueprint. Now, 
Market research is ground zero in building any brand, any brand. This is one of the reasons I begin this program by saying, no business can survive and strive, divorce from some form of branding and marketing. You see, market research is what literally enables you to understand the specific target market. And in understanding the specific target market, you take the time to understand what are their lifestyle, what are their culture, what are their needs and wants and expectations, what are their dreams and hopes and aspirations. And this is based on this understanding, you then build out the value proposition to reach their expectations and perhaps go beyond their expectations. So market research is very important. But to 10x in the market research is not just about understanding who you're targeting with a specific target market. Market research also enables you to understand the size of your market. And it's by understanding the size of your market, you're able to predetermine the viability of that market or the potential of that market to cash flow maximize. So this in itself puts you in that informed position to make highly informed and educated decision as to if you should service that market and how you should service that. Now, beyond understanding the size of the market and the potential of that market to cash flow, Market research also enables you to understand the geographical realities relating to the specific target market. So you're able to take the community, analysis in the community, to understand how much persons in the community are a specific community that represents your specific demographic or your target market. You escalate that into township, you escalate it into the country, you escalate that type of research into the region and across the world. And here is where you start to get a global brand. So market research is absolutely necessary. Market research simply based on the fact that it's allowing you to understand these market realities. This is what puts you in a position to manage your business, your ideas, your brand in a more market sensitive and a more market oriented manner. Now, these are things that you should not take for granted. Regardless of all the other issues that you need to learn to manage a successful business, I'm saying to you that no business can survive and strive in the absence of some form of branding and marketing. Again, this is why we have written this book, the 10X Branding and Marketing Blueprint, The Psychology of Business, to really ensure that we're helping you to be positioned in the market in a manner where you have the competitive advantage. Now, just let me pause for a little bit. If you're in business or intend to get into business and you want to know more about doing business the right way, doing business and learning how to become the global thinkers, the social actors, the transformational leaders, how to become the trendsetters, game changers, and dream makers, this is the platform for you because we're going to be furnishing you with a lot of innovative ideas, a lot of ideas that are out there that can really help to TEDx and leapfrog your business. And of course, we are studying the best of the best. We're studying the top 100 companies and we're going to be presenting to you some approaches, and systems, and policies that they have in place that you can adopt in your operation to move it forward. Along with presenting you these facts, we are seeing some gaps. And we ourselves at Global Capital Inc. Connects Branded and Marketing LLC out of New York 
We are innovating new thesis, and we are going to be sharing those thesis with you. So I want to encourage you to like, subscribe, and share, and press that notification bell so you will be the first to get these content that we are putting out on a regular basis. Now, I want to emphasize this. We need your support to share this information. And uh, in the event that you know anyone who's in business, uh, who wants to scale with local, regional, and international relevance, I want to encourage you to share this information to them. They may thank you for a long time to come. So let's dig in a little deeper. One of the key takeaways that you will have from this book, the 10X Branding and Marketing Blueprint, you will be learning how to design the 10X Products and Service Innovation Blueprint. Now let's talk about products and service innovation. What informs innovation? Today we have the third industrial revolution, the fourth industrial revolution, the whole host of things, but don't let's get there as yet. What are those factors that influenced product innovation or service innovation? Again, it should come from research. Yes, there are many cases that there are persons out there who produces a product without having a clear idea if there's going to be heavy demand for it, but they produce it, they put it out there, they get good response. But we believe in the, an intelligent approach to doing marketing, to do branding. And we strongly recommend that adopting market research as a critical part, pathway to product and service innovation is something for you to consider. Yes, we are fully aware that many business startups, uh, many small businesses, the mom and pops, the micro, small businesses, perhaps the medium-sized businesses, some of them, you are not able to invest heavily in market research. And uh, I would normally say to anyone, the justification of doing the market research is so important that it outweighs the justification that you might want to say are the reasons why you are not doing market research. Market research can significantly up level the potential of the business to cash flow maximize when it comes to product and service innovation. Can you imagine? that you're doing business and you're, you take the guesswork out of branding and marketing because now you know who are your target market because you would have done the research. You know the size of your target market because you would have done the research. You know how your target market is geographically dispersed because you have done your research. You know the needs and wants and expectations of the target market because you have done the research. Now, you would innovate in products and services because you have done the research. What is likely to happen with this kind of intelligence? You take all the guesswork out of branding and marketing, and now you commit the time, talent, and resources to leverage that kind of data to innovate new products and to innovate new services. What is likely to happen? You're most likely to have the 10x effect because you totally understand the needs, wants, and expectations, and you innovate the products and service to live up to those needs, wants, and expectations. And in most cases, in most cases, you go beyond the expectations. That amplifies the 10x effects that you want in making larger than life impact on your specific target market. So product innovation, service innovation, uh, is heavily influenced from market research. But let me also talk a little bit more about this. It is a fact that depending on the type of business that you're in, that research is necessary. It's absolutely necessary. 
For example, if you are doing food production, let's say you're doing byproducts and you're doing corn flakes and you're doing oil and you're doing a various range of different things, a fair degree of research has to go in to the entire process before you actually produce. This is so in the developed world, it should be so across the world. Because remember, when you're producing food, you're producing it for human consumption. And in the developed world, it is clearly established that if you, forgive me for the word I'm gonna use, if you mess up in the product innovation, mess up in the sense that you produce a product that is defective, and it cause, it affects human health. What happens? That company can be bankrupt in a click of a finger because the amount of lawsuit is gonna come at you, you're gonna, you're gonna really do the research before you actually you know, get into any field of production. And in some cases, many cases, the research takes weeks, it takes months, it takes years um, to be able to do it and get it right. This happens so a lot, a lot when it comes to pharmaceutical products, except, and I don't know, the, the powers that be here, they have removed the legal obligation of the many, the big farmers um, from legal liabilities in many cases when it comes to these areas. At a later date, I'll go into all of that. The point I want to make is that research should inform innovation and creativity when it comes to products and service innovation. And I'm saying to you that in many cases, the research takes a very long time. And many small companies are not able to withstand this type of research before you actually get out there with a product or a service. I wanna show you as you come deeper into our master classes, as your management team become more exposed to the strategic content that we have developed here, we, it is so much for us to expose you to, to ensure that your way of thinking is different and you truly understand how the top 100 companies in the world are building out their, their brand, are building out their value proposition, are impacting their workforce, are impacting the specific target market, are impacting the public and by extension, their cash flow is significantly bumped up. The lowest of the top 100 companies, they earn in excess of eight billion US dollars annually, US dollars. So we will do a deep dive into this in my book and in the classroom, we will go even deeper to bring some critical information to you that will really help you to transform and grow the way you do business. Again, if you are in business or you intend to get into business, I wanna encourage you to like, subscribe, and share, press that uh, bell, that subscription bell that will enable you to get these podcasts on a regular basis. All right, good. I continue doing some reading. The commitment to learn, the commitment to learn and apply 10x branding and marketing systems are essential. They are essential tools for any manager to learn, apply, and master. It is essential in doing business in today's global economy. Every business owner's manager, entrepreneur, and leader who is serious about making an impact and converting first-time users into lifetime customers, must invest the time, talent, and resources to understand 
the psychology of strategic brand and brand positioning, the techniques and brand leadership. They must understand these concepts. Why is it so important? Let me read back this piece for you. Every business owner, managers, entrepreneurs, and leaders who is serious about making an impact and convert first-time users into lifetime customers, must invest the time, talent, and resources to understand the psychology of strategic brand position and techniques and brand leadership. The ability to apply the psychology of branding and marketing to bring attention to your business ideas and brand are essential management tools that every manager should invest the time to learn, apply, and master. Now, this is not something for you to take light. This is what is going to really help your business, your ideas, and your brand to 10x and to leapfrog. It's a way of thinking, it's an ideology. And uh, the question that you want to ask is, how much is your company today? adopting these innovative and creative and these practical tools to help in 10 in your operation. Development and growth in your business is not gonna be accidental. It has to be intentional. It has to be intentional. And I'm happy to, you, to say to you again that we at Global Capital Inc, and 10X Branded and Marketing LLC out of New York. We are here committed to that process, to working with you, to drive and accelerate your business success story. And again, we have studied the top 100 companies in the world, and we have truly diagnosed what is unique about those companies? Along with that study, we are innovating a number of new approaches that can really help businesses to make better business decisions when it comes to branding and marketing, when it comes to peaking interest, when it comes to you know, arousing desire, when it comes to moving the customer into action when it comes to make an impact, when it comes to converting first-time users into lifetime customers, when it comes to positioning your brand to build confidence and trust and credibility in the eyes of the consumers, in the eyes of your workforce, in the eyes of the public. We have done the groundwork and we have taken the guesswork out of branding and marketing. And we have put these strategic systems in this book. In all of our training programs, it's related to branded marketing that really position you to become a market leader. So again, I trust that you would have enjoyed today's uh, short podcast. We spent half an hour today. I trust you would have enjoyed it. In closing, I want to say that if you're in business and you intend to get into business, this is the platform for you. And let me tell you why. The partnership between Global Capital Inc. and 10X Branded and Marketing. It is called, the partnership will result in a number of significant outcomes. One, you are working with a, a team of subject matter experts who understand the financial markets. So we will be talking to you about how to access, leverage, and mitigate debt capital, equity capital, smart capital, and credit capital. And if you're in business, I want to say to you that these are financial models that you need to understand. We know that in the developed world, they have access to all four models of these financial tools. We are also fully aware that in developing economies, they, many of them 
they are just saddled with debt capital. And we are also aware that that puts them at a disadvantage. But we look at all of this and we help you to find practical alternatives to access capital. In fact, we are going to be introducing you to uh, critical stakeholders that may be able to walk you through a particular process. But of course, your mindset has to change. We are fully aware that to scale your business, your ideas, and your brand, it requires access to capital. But along with access to capital, we are also fully aware that access to capital is not the beginning and the end, is not the ultimatum of the success story. Your business also need access to market. Your business need to understand how to access those markets. And accessing those markets is where branding and marketing comes into play. Because what is going to give you easy access is when you are leveraging market research to innovate new products and services that are relevant to the specific target market that is relevant to the culture of the economy that is relevant to all of these different things so this partnership uh, we will continue to examine these issues we will continue to present to you critical information that allows you to make informed and educated decision as to the best systems that you can use to move your business your brand your idea to another level development. Our vision here is to really help you to 10x and leapfrog your business. And of course, this comes after years of research. Uh, my studies at Cambridge University for what, over 20 years ago, I'm going to be bringing that to work. I'm going to be bringing uh, years of practical experience um, in business. And of course, I passed my marketing program with, with honors. I will bring all of those experience to bear as we commit time, talent, and resources to give you, your business, a fighting chance to 10x. My name is Gary Thompson. I'm a business development consultant by profession. I'm a humanitarian by nature, and I'm the self-published best-selling author for several books, including Billionaire Codes and Managers to Kid. Today, I read from 10X Branded and Marketing LLC Blueprint, a unique book that is going to teach you everything that you need to know to build a better brand. Remember, no business can survive and strive, divorce from some form of branding and marketing. We are here to you to ensure that you get the best decisions when it comes to branding and marketing. Remember, to like, subscribe, and share. Press that notification bell so you will be the first to get this information on a regular basis. Share this information with your friends. Be blessed. Have a great day.